RFA Esports, Race from Ashes. Welcome back guys, it's Elwood here from Not So Serious Gaming. We're going to be looking at the full Easter egg for Mount Sealer today, created by Verco. It's quite a hard and challenging map, and there is a lot of distance to travel, so I hope you guys have your hiking boots on and you're up for a run. Here we go. So the main objectives are actually marked on the map, as you can see here, but I'll give you a quick guide anyway. First of all, you want to be grabbing the purple soul orb that you need to bring over to this massive soul chest here so you can start collecting your souls. The main objective is to get to the top of the mountain and on the way you have to collect souls at set points. Once you've completed the soul box, purchase the door for 2500 and head up the mountain. You'll see the power is in the next area just located on the right hand side and I'd strongly advise getting jug here if you're able to. Unfortunately, I was not so talented. Yeah, when you get ready to make the first jump, don't hug the wall, jump from like right there. Ooh. Or no, 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 right there, right there is where you're gonna jump from. So it's it here. Uh, no. I'm alive! Oh, no. It's now time to continue up the mountain, and I'm sure on your way you're gonna bump into a Panzer or two. One handy thing to know if you have the Boom Hilda, the Rift 9, Mustang and Sally, and there's a few other guns, I know the Mauser's also one, and you use them to kill the Panzer, then for some reason you will gain an incredible amount of points, as you can see here. This is really handy to know as the doors can get very expensive along the way. Another handy tip, there's numerous loot bags dotted around the map that can give you points, free perks and other glorious stuff. One handy thing is, if you're unable to get jugged like I was, you might be lucky enough to get it in the loot bag. Oh, no. the hell? Oh, I have jugged. I got jugged. I, I got, got jugged. Jug. How do I have jugged? Oh, Did you get a perk from the I bag? Picked up, I picked up a perk drop, yeah. May I got jugged as well. Yes. I don't have to go over there. This is the best day of my life. If you're really struggling to get Jug and you're unable to get it in a perk drop, then don't fear as ICU is here. <laughs> Once you're about halfway through the mountain, you'll see ICU on the right hand side here. It's only 2,500 points and it gives you a quicker health regeneration. This really does help if you're unable to get Jug. I can't stress that anymore. Now let's jump on to the next soul box. So the next orb to get is the Orb of Mending. This is located just behind Widow's Wine. Like I say, it is shown on the map, but I'll quickly show you where it is anyway. Just walk around here and it's just in the ritual site. There is also another Pack-a-Punch up here. So if you need a Pack-a-Punch gun, you can do it right here. And it's quite an easy area to hold up and get those souls. Dogs definitely seem a lot stronger in this game. So make sure by the first round of dogs, you have yourself a decent gun as you can end up dying by round five if you're not careful. As you continue up the mountain, you'll realise there's some paths you can't cross unless you have some sort of flying ability. However, there isn't a flying ability, but there's a double jump. If you buy Bull Ice Blast, you'll be able to double jump and make it over these gaps. Woohoo! Congratulations, you've made it to the top of the mountain. However, the hard part's not over yet. What? What do you mean? Well, once you get to the top of the mountain, you need to start a trial. I strongly recommend Pack-a-Punch in a strong weapon. Um, there is a Dingo up here and a Pack-a-Punch and there's also Marathon. I would strongly recommend getting all of them as you're just about to get in for a world of hurt. Once you've defeated the onslaught of Panzers and Dogs which seem to never want to stop, um, you're now ready to pick up the Orb of Aura. Once you pick this up, run over to the Ritual Stand, place it in here and then you're going to kill yourself some more zombies by this. Don't worry, it's almost done. It's now time to transcend. Head over to the marker and hold your action yes, button. Neither. This will cause the game to go into slow mode, which I think is pretty cool. I've not seen it before in Zombies, so it's just a great feature. But don't worry, this doesn't last too long because what you've got to do is run all the way back to the start. You have about four or five minutes to do this, so you better get running. I'd strongly recommend getting stamina up before you do this part, because if you don't have it, you could be cutting it quite fine. Dogs and panzers will spawn in continuously throughout this, but if you're careful, you can easily make it. If you've seen slow-mo before on any zombie map, please let me know in the comments down below, as I'd love to check it out. Be sure to check out a great Discord group, Raised From Ashes, down in the description down below, where you can meet some amazing people to play a variety of games with, such as Zombies, Valorant, Minecraft, and Rainbow Six. So if you're looking for a great bunch of people to play games with, make sure you jump in the Discord and say hi. If you enjoyed this video, I would really appreciate it if you hit that like button and subscribe. Thank you very much for watching, this is Elwood, and peace! Woo! GG!